we have covered node redundancy, redundancy integration with above workbench you can navigate easily basic objects of above dictionary now we are directly jumping into the screens now what are the basic objects of a above dictionary tables store the information in the database data elements domains are the okay so now as I say to that database only understand the tabular format now you are going to uh, you are trying to create a table now what does the table contain if you can see this suppose this is a particular table this is a particular table named QMEL this is created in database and another most important thing is that like anything created without the name of Z or Y will be considered as a SAP standard object means SAP India or SAP labs people have created those objects only these are automatically coming with the SAP installation now anything you find which is started with Z or Y it should be it or it will be a, a customized object means you have you have created or somebody else like you or me has created those objects so like this is a QMEL so this is a already uh, inbuilt SAP created table so just take an example of this one now what does the table contain now as the name suggests table so it should serve, have some column some some rows so now each and every column is named as a field it should have some field like uh, for your uh, that uh, Airtel example like your address table address table should have some three to four fields like uh, first field should be the your mobile number second field should be like your name third field should be your uh, uh, street fourth should be your uh, city uh, five should be your pin code your state uh, your country um, your email id like this kind of fields and each and every uh, column should be a particular field and, and each and every row represents the number of records suppose first uh, first row is your number your record second row could be mine third row could be uh, x fourth could be y so like this each and every row will add the table will be populated with values now how those values will look like so there are certain buttons i will come up, uh, one by one just uh, try to follow what i'm saying right now so suppose this is a table this is certain these are the field names or column names it is asking for how many fields in the selection screen just select any So this is a term is a local test systems. So just don't afraid of any error message or anything. It can show you any kind of surprise messages. But you can play with the system. You can learn a lot of things. So okay. So this is this is what selection screen will cover selection screen also. So for the time being, just see that how a selection screen look like. Selection screen will provide you an interface or application. See this is the kind of application. Means in in your screen, it will expect something from you and. If uh, you will uh, expect something in return from it, like I want to put something and I want to see what those entries are holding. So like uh, this is some certain fields. Uh, I'll not put anything. I'll just uh, execute it and I'll see how many entries are there. So this is what it, this table is holding in the database. So now see this table is showing some lot of data. It doesn't mean that this this data is coming from above dictionary. All those data is coming from Oracle database. Now immediately whenever you press this button this above dictionary understood that I need to as the user didn't mention any kind of uh, criteria in the selection screen so this above dictionary immediately understand that I need to fetch all the data there is a certain criteria like select entries 200 so it is by default by default it will not show you show me maximum 200 entries because maybe there are more thousands of entries and if it will like to get all the data if you press this button execute it will try to get, fetch all the data and it will take much time so whenever you execute it will show the data whatever the data is available this is may not be some good data because this is a test system see some fields are empty so there is no meaning just for testing purpose so it should be some value like this is one column two column three column five column and the first field is MNDT mandatory mandatory means it will show you the client name so I have logged into client 800 and this data is specific to client 800 only kind of like uh, independent and dependent data in SAP client dependent client independent data so this is what a table look like it is having a certain number of rows columns if you double click on any of the entries it will show you the particular uh, that uh, that row detail
see you can do much more details with this these many fields or these many columns are there in the table maybe 100 it could be 1000 whatever all the fields and everything has been started with some particular name format but not z or y so that it should be understandable that it is already created by or it is already provided by sap see if anything is started with z or y that should be a custom object okay so that's what a table is now let's move into the individual characteristics now we have seen that there are a lot of fields now what is a field a field is just represented the particular column characteristics of the column name or what kind of data that particular column could have now what is it what is a field is having now if you see that in the table see this is the field name corresponding to that it has a data element it is showing what kind of data it is q m n u m this is of type care this is of length 12 it should have what is the decimal place is zero and it is having a short description notification number now these four things we need not have to provide it is automatically fetching those details from the data element now what is a data element now whenever you are going to try uh, try to create a table just let me create a table for you suppose z test Shivani. if you just press create what happened oh sorry see if you wa want to do something and you have done something wrong to SAP immediately you will find a message what it is showing table z underscore test suban underscore not permitted at second and third place means you have to create it like this z test means after z immediately after z or y you cannot put under underscore and as I am going to create a table with z uh, so sorry I want to create a custom table I need to create it with z only see if I try to create without z what will happen press the create button It will immediately asking, uh, ask you for an access key because I do not have authorization to create any object in SAP with that kind of a nomenclature. I need to follow the standard rule. So what is the standard rule? It should be Y or it should be Z. Mostly we are, means uh, uh, earlier it used to, means people used to uh, provide a Y but recently, not from recently, means from long back only, everybody is preferred to use Z only. Okay. So just press create. I'll put some description test leave these fields I'll come to these fields after some time oh, it is asking for that okay now field you can put something some standard field also anything suppose Kunnar is a standard one and is a standard data element immediately you press enter you will get what is having with the data element it's already created now if you want to create something custom something at your own suppose this is the one field and this is one data element you want to create but this is not there in the SAP system so if you whenever you press enter it will pop up a map it will say that this is not active because this one is not at all created so just double click on it save before existing yes this thing I'll come to you later. Just just follow the screens what I'm doing. So right now I'm creating it. See, it will ask for whether you want to create this data element as this data element is not created. So what exactly data element is? Now data element is a above dictionary object which holds the characteristics description of a particular field. It will hold only the characteristics description. Now that field could be a character, this field could be a numeric, this could be, field could be a kind of sales order, this field could be a kind of material. So it will hold the characteristics description. And immediately you go inside this data element, you will find it. It will ask for a domain name. And domain is also like similar type of thing. Means you can get any domain which will uh, coming from uh, the data dictionary. Otherwise you can create your own domain. Press enter, it will say that it is not active so I need to create a domain also 
okay yes i want to create a domain now what domain domain will hold the technical characteristics it will tell you that if it, this is a sales order yes now data element will hold you the characteristics the description means it will tell you the description kind of knowledge means uh, suppose if you, you, you uh, this z subhani is a numeric field or numeric or, or a sales sales order it will hold the sales order data so in the data element you will just describe like that this is a sales order data now what kind of it data that sales order data will be in the domain you will find that details like uh, it could be a character it could hold up to 10 places it could have some two decimals it could have some uh, sign plus minus you can say plus minus if you take it see there is a button called lowercase so it could be lowercase uppercase so all, all, all the details you can put some character it could be hold up to 18 characters so like this information you can provide conversion routine Conversion routine is another thing like suppose a uh, uh, sales order field like uh, the our earlier table. Just let me show you that what is the conversion routine. Conversion routine means it will convert whatever data you give to a particular field, the data will be converted to its own type. Suppose for a particular field can hold up to 10, uh, 10 field. Like what is our table here? Let's take an example of KNA1. Check the entries. See. Now this Kunar has some 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe 10 or 12 entries in a particular uh, row. It can hold up to 12, 12 characters. Okay. So whenever you pass 1 to this field Kunar, what it will do? It will not store 1 in the field. It will keep 1 at last and it will place zeros in all the remaining spaces so that's what a conversion routine is now what it will do do the conversion routine it will just convert in a particular format now you can you can assign your own format say uh, see whenever i now this is a corner field standard one a standard data element is declared double click on the data element it is showing that customer number one so it is holding the characteristics data what is this customer field level if it is a 10 customer like this means what kind of you, you, you see for long characters you can put some long, uh, long description also so it will it will hold the only descriptive kind of information double click on the domain it will hold the what kind of data type number of characters output length there is no sign but there is a conversion routine attached to it alpha if you double click on it it will show you two function modules conversion alpha input conversion alpha output this kind of things so what this conversion routine is doing it has attached to a conversion routine whenever you put one this function module will convert that one to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, like that. Okay, so this is what about data element and domain. Now, see, table 1, table 2, table 3. Table 1 have a particular data element, table 2 have a, is using the same data element. Now, both the data element can have a same domain. Yes, it's possible. Because data element is nothing but a characteristics data. Now, as you have seen Kunnar, you can, uh, this Kunnar data element will hold the customer number. So, it's already there in SAP. Now, whenever you are going to try to create your own table, like Z Subani underscore customer, you can use the Kunnar also. If, if everything is like, if you want the similar kind of functionality, you can use the same Kunnar data element. Likewise, domain also. As, as this particular domain is having 10 characters to decimal or 10 digit to decimal, and I want the same one, same kind of a requirement or uh, character, so I can just use the original uh, existing domain. So it could be like a multiple data element could have a same single domain likewise.